I believe in critical thinking. I believe in innovative people. Today, basically, we're looking at the pros and the cons of the fourth industrial revolution. Looking at both, you know, our education, looking at everyday life, and then looking basically at what is that which 4IR is, and then what advantages and disadvantages 4IR bring into the country. There is a lot of misconceptions in terms of the fourth industrial revolution. So it was, it was a good thing that we came and then have this conversation, you know, just to set the mood and then let people understand exactly what is 4IR and then how can they be able to benefit from it, what are the challenges that are coming with 4IR and then what are the solutions that we are bringing based on the fourth industrial revolution. I think a lot of people are, are scared or fearful of the fourth industrial revolution, uh, mostly because they just don't know what it is. That fear is, is born, I wouldn't say out of ignorance, or, but, but more out of lack of education that they have not been made aware of the technologies that are involved, what the fourth industrial revolution means, and what it can do for people. Uh, people are thinking that this is just some westernized thing that is going to come and take over. It's not. It is very useful technology, technology that can make a difference in our lives, technology that can make our jobs easier, technologies that can make us more productive, um, technology that can create jobs as much as we're scared that it can take jobs away. There are more opportunities that are going to be brought about by this fourth industrial revolution. You don't have to be a big industry to make it. An individual with individual innovation can make it in the, in, in the fourth industrial revolution. Like the example that was given during the presentation of SIA, the guy who has made an innovation from Africa uh, has designed, uh, 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 created a new solution to the world. The battery storage, power storage, all those things. This is what the world has been looking for. And the solution came from Africa. We try to look at the two different views about the fourth industrial revolution. I personally believe that although the fourth industrial revolution is a reality, we are not doing a good job in trying to think about it in a balanced manner. Although there are advantages, it comes with a lot of um, undesirable effects. You know, if you have a community where people are not skilled, it means that if you introduce technology, many of them are going to be out of a job. Secondly, if the technology you don't own it, it means you always be paying the license for the technology, you always be at the mercy of the person who owns the technology. If something goes wrong, you have to go to Europe to bring those guys to, to fix the technology. Um, but also, most importantly for me, the point I want to emphasize is that you can't push everybody to be at the fourth industrial revolution. Some people have no skills, some people have no education, other people really cannot be trained. You, can't, you have people where you look at people like expanded public works, where the only job you can create is to make people to construct roads. So can you make those people to simply now become experts in IT and survive? If you want to use technology, let us use in the way that supports our people. Let us use it in the way that is relevant and does not make people worse off. Someone once told me that uh, the fourth industrial revolution is like uh, when you are in the sea and then you, you, you are facing a heavy currency or uh, the waves uh, pulling you. If you try to fight the, the, the currency, the waves, you're going to get tired and ultimately drown. But if you are in that situation, you must just let your body float, float along, the sea will take you on the other side. So we're helping the learners or whoever how to navigate around that wave so that they can have a safe landing on the other side. I would like to applaud JB Max for organizing such an event because it takes the graduates away from theoretical things they hear from the classroom to practical realities that they are going to face. So this is a very good initiative and they should continue organize such events and bring people from the practical world with different experiences to impart this knowledge to the students when they are still at the university, such that when they come out, they know exactly what is waiting for them out there in the world of work.